The Bible in the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23, it talks about the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. One of the things that the Bible teaches in this part of scripture is this, that there is a wage for sin. There's a reason why Jesus came down from heaven and he came to earth and that's to pay for your sin, for the sin that's in our life. You know, mankind needs to be redeemed, needs to be saved because we're full of sin. You might ask the question and say, well, what is sin? Sin is all wrongdoing. Have you ever lied? If you ever had a bad thought, you ever even took a penny sweet, you know, it doesn't make much difference. The Bible says that all are sin, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. And the death that it talks about here is not, you know, just dying in the body, but it talks about a death, you know, which lasts forever. Will take you to the fires of hell. And, and you know, to hear that, Today, wherever you are, it's a very difficult thing for you to understand. But I want to tell you something. The second part of that verse is good news. Because it says, but the gift of God, remember, the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. One thing is for sure, it doesn't end when you die. There is a second part. And either you will rise to go to heaven or you will rise to go to hell. But the truth of the fact is this. Jesus Christ, and I want to share this with you today. He loves you. But there's one thing that separates you from a loving God. And that is sin. Sin that sometimes that we hold in our heart. And in all the unforgiveness and all the bitterness and all the hatred. And all the things that we build up in our life. And there's people on the other end of the scale who think that they're okay. And they're good people and the charitable people. And you know, it doesn't make no difference what you think you are today. Whether you think you're good or you're bad. The truth of the fact is, you have sin in your life. And there is only one way out and that is Jesus Christ today. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. You know, all you need to do is accept that Jesus Christ died for you. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. And the Bible says that you shall be saved. In John 3, there was a man called Nicodemus. Nicodemus was um, a Jewish leading counselor and he come to Jesus. And he was discussing with Jesus about, you know, all godly things. And Jesus looked at him and said, look, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And today I want to tell you the same words. I'm going to use the same words that Jesus used to Nicodemus. Unless you were born again, friend, you will never see the kingdom of heaven. But there's a chance. There's a choice. And that is now. You take the opportunity while you're breathing to accept Jesus into your heart. To pay the price for your sin. You know, when Jesus came down and he was nailed upon that cross for you and for me. He loves you so much. He did that for you and for me. That we could be set free. That we could have a life. Knowing that in this life that we have life and we can have it to the full. And with the promise that one day, that when we die, and hopefully it'll be when we're old and when we're grey and families have been, you know, all around us. But the truth of the fact is at that time we will know that we belong to Jesus and that the gates of heaven will be open for us. And he will say these words, come in my good and faithful servant. You can't earn it. You can't pay for it. There's nothing that you can do being good to get you into the gates of heaven. Nothing at all. It was all done upon Calvary, on that tree, when Jesus gave his life for you and for me. Today, as you hear this message, you know, don't let it just pass you by. Don't let it, you know, just be a little message on a CD where you listen to some songs. I want to tell you something. Bow the knee at the cross today. The cross is what will save you. The cross is what will help you. Jesus loves you. He's paid the price for you. That sin that's in your heart and in your life has to be dealt with. One way or another you will pay for it. If you can let Jesus redeem you and you can accept him as your saviour or you can try and pay for it yourself and it's impossible. You know, eternity will last forever and ever and ever and you'll still not be able to pay for the sin that's in your life, the wrongdoing. Your iniquities have separated you from a loving God. But Jesus loves you today. God's answer 
And the remedy to sin that's in our life is this, that he sent his son Jesus Christ to pay for you and for me. And if we accept him, if we believe in him, if we trust in him, not in our ways, not in our, you know, parents' ways or family's ways, no, none of that, but in God's ways, if we accept him the way that he wants us to follow the word of God, to trust in him, to live for him, and to bow the knee this side of heaven, the promise is this, that we're going to be set free and we're going to have heaven awaiting us. Jesus loves you today. And I want to encourage you with them words. Jesus loves you. And I want to speak today to people that, you know, has gone cold in the heart. Maybe you're not following God the way that you once was. Maybe you're backslidden in your heart. Maybe you're listening to the CD today and you know that you need to be right. Time is running short. This world is in a terrible state. The governments of this world are in a terrible state. And what we need to do before it's too late, before Jesus returns, and I believe that the Lord is going to return very, very soon. Get yourself right with Jesus. Stop playing games with God. Don't leave it for another day. Don't think, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get myself right. You know, we, we can't do that. We can't afford to play games with God. Today you have a chance and a choice. All you need to do is accept the Lord. Believe in the Bible. Find yourself a good Bible church. Go to it. Ask Jesus into your heart. And I want to tell you something now. If you do that with a sincere heart, then the Lord, he will bless your life abundantly. He will strengthen you and he will help you and he'll encourage you. He'll save your soul. He will benefit this life and the next. And that sin that it talks about in Romans chapter 6 and verse 23, them wages will be paid in full by the blood of Jesus because of his great love upon that cross. He loves you today. Don't put it off for another day. Allow the Lord into your heart today. Call upon him. Ask him right now. And the Lord will help you and strengthen you. Thank you for listening. But before it's too late, get yourself right with the Lord Jesus. God bless.